Let's take a look at how to use the new Cloud API to manage the operations of our CockroachDB clusters. To access the API, we need to create a service account and generate a secret key. From our Clusters page, click Access, then go to the Service Accounts tab and create an account. We'll fill in a little bit of info, choose the permissions level for the account, and then name and generate the key. Copy the key to a secure location as we'll need to use it in our API requests. If we look at my Clusters page right now, we can see that there are only two. Let's use the API to create a third. I've got my requests saved here, and as you can see, they're pretty straightforward. We'll start with this first one, which will return a bunch of data about my clusters. Here we can see we've got two results, each with a bunch of metadata related to the clusters that I've already created. Now let's use the API to create a new serverless cluster. As you can see, this request is a little more complex because in addition to the URL and the secret key, we're also providing all of the parameters we want to use for the cluster, including the name of the cluster, our preferred cloud provider, and the spec, in this case, a serverless cluster on US East 1 with a spend limit of zero. In other words, a free serverless cluster. We can see that this worked because the request returns all of the metadata related to our new cluster, but just to double check, let's return to the web interface, hit refresh, and there's the cluster we just created. Of course, there's a lot more we can do with this API. For example, now that we have the cluster ID, we can use that to request information specifically about this cluster. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. This API can be used to automate a variety of operational tasks, including creating and deleting clusters, creating, managing, and deleting SQL users, changing the spend limits on serverless clusters, and pulling information like the available regions for a cloud provider. That makes it really useful for automating development workflows and provisioning, scaling, and monitoring your clusters programmatically. <laughs>